Hello, I am going to now be showing you how to create peer review assignments. Peer review assignments are when students are able to review each other's assignments and leave comments on them. So I'm going to create an assignment and uh, assign some students, a fellow student in the class, to review. So in my assignment, let's say I have a uh, business class and I have a project where the students will uh, create a business plan and maybe the first assignment is to uh, do a, a pitch for a new idea for a business. So I'm going to create a, a new assignment. This is just an example. And maybe this is a new business idea pitch. Okay. And I want the students to review each other's ideas and give each other feedback. So pitch your idea. Okay. And this is just an example. So maybe I want this assignment to be, it has 20 points in here, but maybe I want this to be worth 25 points. And I want this to fall under the business plan assignments. And maybe I want them to upload a file. So that's already there. So now I'm going to come down here to this section that says peer reviews. What I want to do is check the box that says require peer reviews. Now there are a couple of options. I can manually assign peer reviews. That is, I will go in and decide what student is going to be reviewing what student. And you can have one student review one other student, or you can have one student review three or four students. So you can assign as many students as you like. Or you can have Canvas automatically assign peer reviews. So maybe I don't want to have to sit and worry about who's going to uh, review what because it doesn't really matter. So I'll click Assign Peer Reviews and I'll tell it how many uh, peers do I want each student to review. So maybe I have a very large class and maybe I want every student in the class to review the ideas of at least three students. So I'm going to say three, and uh, when it decides to automatically assign the peers to each student, it's going to give each student three classmates to review. Now down here, um, there is a calendar option, and this is when I want Canvas to assign the peers. Um, and this usually needs to come after the due date. That's because a student can't review a classmate's assignment if it hasn't been turned in yet. So if I leave this blank, by default, Canvas will assign peers whenever the due date of the assignment is. So let's say, for instance, this assignment is due on April 15th, and that's when all the students should have the assignment turned in. So on April 15th, is when it's going to assign every student three peers to review. Now maybe I don't want to do it on the 15th. Maybe I am making the assignment due on the 15th, but I'm giving them a grace period of 24 hours and uh, students can turn it in late and they can get it turned in on the 16th. So I might want to specify that this assignment would be due on the 16th and I'm making the actual assignment due on the 15th. That way I can ensure that um, everybody has submitted their assignment before the peers are assigned. Now here is another option. You can have the option to do anonymous reviews or to have them uh, not anonymous. Um, you may not want the students to know who it is that is reviewing uh, their assignment, and uh, you might not want the students to know whose assignment they are reviewing. So if you want to keep everything anonymous, you would check peer reviews appear anonymously. Um, that way, no student in the class will know whose work they're reviewing or whose work they are not reviewing. Um, but maybe for some reason you do want want the students to know who it is that is reviewing their work. Maybe you want to, you know, build community or develop camaraderie, or maybe there's a, a, a the type of assignment requires them to know who it is that's looking at their work. Maybe you want the students to be able to interact and ask questions about the feedback that they were left. Um, so whichever one you decide, you have that option here. So for uh, this example, 
because I'm working in a sample class with only three sample students, I'm going to check manually assign peer reviews and I'm not going to make them anonymous. Uh, so I'm going to change the due date. I'm going to back the due date up just a little bit to here. Okay, and then I'm going to save and publish it. Okay, so because I did this manually, right now this assignment is visible to the sample students, um, but none of them have been assigned peers yet. So I can actually go ahead and assign their uh, peers, even though they haven't submitted any assignments yet. So in my class, I have three sample students, April Flowers, April May, and April O'Neill. So I can still automatically assign them if I like, but I'm going to just go ahead and manually assign them. So this uh, link here says give April Flowers another submission to assess. So I'm going to press this button and there is a drop down and these are all of the remaining students in the class. Now if this was a full class with over 30 students, all 30 students would appear. But in this case there's only three, so I'm going to assign April Flowers to April May and click Add. And now April Flowers has been assigned to uh, April May's assignment. So I'm going to do the same thing for April May. I'm going to click here. And this is the manual process. If I chose to uh, let Canvas do it automatically, I don't have to do this. Um, but I'm choosing to manually do it. So April May is going to uh, review April Flowers. And April O'Neill is going to review April May. Okay, so each one of them have one person, um, but I noticed I gave April May to both April O'Neill and April Flowers, and that's okay. Maybe I want everybody in the class to review two people, so I'm going to go in and add another. Okay, now all three students are each reviewing two other students. So what does the student view of this look like? I'm going to show you April O'Neill's canvas. Okay, so this is April O'Neill's canvas. I'm going to refresh the screen. And when April O'Neill logs into the class, what she's going to see on the right hand side is that she has two peer reviews plus her original assignment. Now when she is first assigned a review, Canvas is going to email every student telling them they have been assigned a peer to review. So they will get a notice, an email telling them, and it has a link that they can click on. But in the to-do list, we see the original assignment, so she has to turn in her business pitch idea um, by the 20th, and she has to complete her peer reviews by by the 16th. So she can click here, peer review for a new business idea pitch. And this is for April May. So I don't have this as anonymous. So April O'Neill knows that she is reviewing April May's assignment. And April May will be able to see that uh, her assignment was reviewed by April O'Neill. So there's no submission here because this assignment hasn't been submitted. But if April May had submitted her assignment, it would show up in this space here and it would be reviewed. And then April O'Neill could come over here and add a comment such as, um, you know, you did a great job. Um, but let's see, where would a business like this work? Okay, so maybe she has a question. So she's going to get save. All right, so now April May will be able to see o April O'Neill's comments and she'll be able to reply to it. So I'm going to come back over here to the teacher view and I'm going to refresh the screen. You'll notice these exclamation marks. This means that the peer reviews have not taken place yet. Maybe you're giving points for peer reviews. So when the student leaves a comment, I'm going to refresh the screen. It now shows as a check mark. That means April O'Neill has reviewed April May's assignment and left a check mark. Okay? Now, maybe I don't want the students to be able to see who it is that's doing each other's uh, reviewing. So I'm going to go back to the assignment. And I'm going to go back and edit. 
So maybe I decide I do want it to be anonymous. So I'm going to check the peer review appear anonymously. And I'm going to save. That's going to update it. So now the students will not be able to see each other's names. So I'm going to go back to uh, April O'Neill's page. I'm going to go back to the home page. And she has one peer review remaining. So now when she clicks on it, it simply says anonymous user. So she doesn't know whose assignment this is in the class. Now when she leaves her comments uh, to whoever this anonymous user is, good job, and when she submits it, this anonymous user will not know who left the comment. They will simply see that the comment was left by an anonymous user. So it keeps everything anonymous. Another thing is maybe there are five or six students that are assigned to review this student and all five of them left comments. The students can only see each other's comments. So all five students will not be able to see all five uh, comment submissions so it keeps everything absolutely anonymous so you have the option of how you want to do that so going back to this assignment if I had decided that I did not want to manually assign them uh, then I would have chosen the option for a canvas to do it for me to automatically assign them and maybe I just want each student to do two and maybe I want it to be done on the exact same day that it's due so I would make that change there another thing you can do is you can also uh, delete the peer reviews you can move them around if you like so I'm going to come back over here to peer reviews um, and uh, maybe I notice that uh, the students only have a day left to do the review and April Flower still hasn't done her reviews yet so there's this little button here that I can press and it will send her a reminder um, that she's running out of time to do her reviews uh, so I can tell her hey you need to review April May hey you need to review April O'Neill so that she can go in and complete them um, and as you can see down here April O'Neill has completed both of her reviews so maybe if I'm you know, assigning a grade to do the peer reviews, I can see that they were done already. Maybe I don't want April May to review April O'Neill, so maybe I'm going to just delete that there, cancel that peer review. So I can do that. Um, so you can do this for assignments, you can do it for projects, um, and it's a really good tool for allowing students to review each other's uh, assignments. So that is how you create peer review assignments in Canvas.